Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to make habanero marinated steak. Of course the first thing you want to do is dice up your habaneros. What I'm doing right now is taking out the seeds and you know, the stem and whatnot. The stuff you don't really want. You can leave it in there if you don't want. Make it a lot spicier. And I don't want it too spicy because my roommates aren't really that attuned to spice. So I'm just doing the little strips. You can make it as big or small as you want because it's just going to be sitting in a liquid on top of the steaks and it should be able to permeate the flavor. And pop in the bag with your steaks. I'm just cooking up, going to be cooking up three of them. Some salt and pepper to taste of course. And I'm adding a whole bottle of balsamic vinaigrette. Now you can use any vinaigrette you want. Because you want to use the vinaigrette because the vinegar is going to help tenderize the steak by breaking down the little you know, tender fibers in there and whatnot. You want, you want to let it sit in your refrigerator for at least 24 hours and take it out when you're ready to cook. Of course you want it to warm up to room temperature before you start cooking it of course. Once it reaches room temperature you want to get your pan ready or even your grill if you're going to be doing it outside. Now I'm just using pan here I'm doing some garlic butter to cook it in that. This should make it very tasty. Pop it in the steaks. Pour a little bit of marinade on top of them. Then we'll sun on the plate. As you see in the background, there's a little pot. That is the marinade I'm making. I made. I'm gonna be reducing it down to like a sauce. It should be very good and spicy. As you see, the steaks are cooking up nicely, steaming away. The first flip right uh, here. Now you can cook your steaks to however you like it. If you like it rare, you cook it rare, medium rare, well done. It's up to you. I'm not going to judge you for how you cook your steaks. It's your food. Cook it how you like it. Just make sure it's tasty. See the bubbling, you see the sauce bubbling away, coming up nicely. Now I will take this time to tell you to like and subscribe to my video, to my channel, and to leave a comment on the video because engagement helps the algorithm and it lets YouTube know that people like this. I would really appreciate it. I should say the sec there's another flip and you get a nice crispy bits on it and I'm testing the temperature. I'm going to try to get it to 155 and that's a medium well. That is how I like my steaks, but like I said, you can cook your steaks to how you enjoy them because it is your food after all. You see that the, the sauce right there is nice and reducing down a bit, bubbling away. The steaks right there are cooking away and going to be out, coming out nice and tasty. How it should be. And of course, deep pan when steaks are cooked to you how you like it. And just making sure it's at the temperature. There you go, look at that. You got some tasty steaks. Now, here's the sauce. Now, I did this before I started cooking the steaks, of course, but I'm showing you what I did. Just want to give it a stir. You want to reduce it down so it's not so thick. Now, I'm adding a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, you do want to add it slowly so it doesn't clump up. If you see me doing here, just tapping it with the, my finger or my stirring spoon every now and then. And I want to do it till it's all gone. You see in there, it's all gone. And I do want to take this moment again to, to say to check out the description for some special links. I would really appreciate it. Just keep stirring it till it gets a little bit thicker. It'll take some time, you know, and then to sit back and then simmer away as you cook the steaks. Now I'm taking the emulsion blender to help break up the little bits of habanero so it's, you know, not too big and doesn't get in the way. So you make a nice smooth sauce. Of course, you don't have to do that if you don't. If you chop your chopper nearest a bit smaller. Then you guys just keep stirring away. And once it gets to this condition that you enjoy, you get to take it off the heat and let it cool down a bit. Now, after the steaks rested, that's when you want to plant, plate them, and start cutting them because you know steaks have to rest so the juices stay in and doesn't you know, leak out everywhere. You just need plating it, putting a nice tasty sauce over everything. Look at that, there you go. 
I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the food. Thank you for watching.